Okay, records for on Tuesday, the 25th of April, 2023, just gone 4.54 p.m. Chicago time. Do hope you are doing well. So quick little video today about how to code and set up alerts in TradeStation. From time to time, I get emails from people asking about uh, coding alerts. My alerts aren't working. What's going wrong? How do I set up alerts and so on? And you would have thought alerts in TradeStation would be uh, fairly simple to set up, but it turns out they are not. There are a couple of wrinkles that you kind of need to know about. Uh, and so in this video, I'm going to explain what I've learned about alerts in TradeStation, how to code them, set them up and so on. And I'll walk you through that process. So the first thing, I've just set up a little bit of test code here to show you how to code alerts in TradeStation easy language. First line just states that we've got an input called my alert and we've set it to true for this indicator. And then we have a couple of conditions, condition one, condition two. One is where the close is greater than the high of one bar ago. And the second condition is when the close is less than the low of one bar ago. I wanted some conditions that would trigger frequently so I can see the alerts kind of uh, rolling through TradeStation at the, as the charts are being generated. And then to actually trigger those alerts when those conditions are met, we've got two little examples here. If condition one is true, then begin. And we state that if the my alert equals true, then we begin this alert statement, which says bullish alert. And then we append the symbol of the chart that we're looking at, a little bit of a space. And then we also append the bar interval of the chart. Same thing for a bearish alert. If the alert is true, then begin the alert statement, a bearish alert appending the symbol and appending the bar interval of the chart. So a couple of things to note. First one is that I could easily have concatenated or added these two bits of code together. So if condition one uh, is true and my alert is true, then the begin this statement alert with bullish alert and so on. However, that does not work in TradeStation. I find, found it to be kind of glitchy when I can combine uh, those two together. So what I always do with alerts is I keep this as nested condition statements like this. So the first one that I'm looking for this condition to be true, and then I'm checking if the alert is set to true. And then when the condition is uh, triggered and the alert is set to true, then TradeStation issues an alert that says bullish alert and so on. So that's what the TradeStation code kind of looks like. Now, this is a very simple chart of the E-mini 500 tip bar chart here. And I've added this uh, study indicator to uh, the chart. So here we go. This is called alert test. The status is on and we've got that input condition set to true. But I'm going to go to customize and I'll just uh, roll through each of the settings here. So the first thing to note is that you only want to trigger this when uh, the bar is closed. So make sure that this box here is not ticked because you do not want this indicated updating tick by tick. That'll just uh, send a lot of kind of alerts uh, to you and you don't want that. So trigger at the end of the bar and that's by unticking this input. Then we go to the inputs, my alert, uh, the value is set to true here. We can set this to false if we want to switch off alerts, but then you also need to set the alerts tab to true as well. So enable alert here on the alerts tab. So you know, need the two things going on. You need the input to the indicator set to true with the alert, and you also need to enable the alert here. And then uh, the other trick that you need to know about is you need to set the alert continuously. So I don't particularly like the language that TradeStation has used here, but essentially what they're saying is that this alert will continue to work on the chart as the chart is built. It won't just issue a signal once when the chart is run and then never have alerts on that chart again. So you need to set that to alert continuously. And then what I use is the global messaging preferences here. So all of my alerts kind of have a default setting that we set up in the configuration here. And one of the nice things that you can do in TradeStation is have audible alert. So during the trading day, I've got my headset on. And as soon as an alert kind of comes up on a chart, rather than it kind of popping up as a notification in the corner of uh, my TradeStation screen, I got an audio alert where the uh, Windows system is talking to me and it's actually using the language uh, that I've set up here in this alert. So the alert actually says bullish alert 
at ES and then 500 for the 500 tip bar chart. So let's go back to this. So I've got an audible setting here, voice using text to speech and the text to speech settings are set in your Windows operating system here. So that's all you need to do uh, in TradeStation. There are some other ways of uh, setting up alerts in TradeStation as defaults. You can have a pop-up window, uh, visual or so on. You can also get an email sent to you, but I prefer the audible uh, voice text to speech setting here. Uh, to give me those when my headphones are on. So there we go. We set that to OK. We've got that settings correct. We set that to OK and we close. So TradeStation also gives you a handy reminder here that you've got alerts on that chart with this little A in a blue box in the corner there. And then you can go to the messages settings to look at uh, the alerts as they come through. And that's what the alerts will kind of look like here. So we've got the symbol. We've got the interval. This is the information. This is what I hear in my headsets. Uh, bearish alert at ES equals 106XC, 500. And that tells me what chart the alert has gone off in which direction, time and date, and so on. So there we go. That should be all you need to know to code alerts in TradeStation. The important thing to remember here is to have these nested conditions. Make this a, a separate few lines of code with the alert. And then in the indicator settings, Make sure that you have both the alert set to an input true and your alert settings to enable alert with alert continuously. So there we go. Quick video on how to code and set up alerts in TradeStation.